All right, the Colorado's back in the shop. We are installing the LED fog light kit. Um, what that consists of is this bracket here uh, that we picked up from American Expedition Vehicles. And it's going to bolt the aftermarket fog lights into the factory fog light hole. Uh, one thing we didn't notice while we were in here is this back bracket. There's small rivets that hold the bracket to the bumper and they were kind of loose so what we did is remove those rivets and then we used some nuts and bolts right here to fasten this factory bracket to the bumper when i say factory i'm talking about this is comes on the bison truck um, so this this fog light bracket from aev we've already attached and it leaves you up and down in and out uh, capabilities to, to aim those where you want. Let's go to the back side. This original support, we removed it, and this bolt goes through the new AEV bracket, which ties in to this, and here is your up and down uh, adjustment. Uh, we've got 10 millimeter head nuts and bolts right here, and then the bracket goes back behind there, and you can see how it's bolted to the factory position with these uh, tins. So there's three tins that bolt that bracket to the factory bison front bumper. Vision X 4.7 CG2 Canon. Um, this is going to be a light that you can't run on the street. It's going to probably be triggered from our high beam circuit, but these have a massive amount of light output for such a small light. So as you can see, this is the factory bracket uh, bolted in place. And then down here is our bracket for the LED light. So it's going to bolt to the back side of those three clip nuts like this. So that will bolt up behind the bumper. All right, so now we have the light in and we have that up and down in and out adjustment. We're gonna snap this bezel back on, that way we can get the light centered in the hole. This thing simply just goes right here and snaps into place. And then now we can go in here from the back side and get this aimed correctly. That's gonna be 10 millimeters, there's gonna be two on the bottom, and then the stud for the light to uh, turn it left and right is going to be a 17. So you'll need a 17 socket and a 17 wrench. We've got our center tube section put back on. We've installed the LED uh, Vision X CG2 cannons. And you can see here we have our uh, filler panels that came with the bumper installed. They fit much better than the factory ZR2. It just took us forever to get around to putting those back in and get them painted. They also have this piece of rubber that fills in the gap there. Uh, you can see along through there. Uh, we did have to trim the fender flare off here to meet because um, it was hanging out and there was a clip from the factory behind this piece. So now we've got those filler pieces back in. Everything's looking good. Uh, this is for the AEV uh flares or the uh, high mark flares that are an add-on. Uh, we're going to do the cutout flares on this eventually for 35 inch tires. But as you can see, the bumper is back together. LED lights are on and we have um, successfully plugged them all in. We've put our relays over here on the side. Um, pull this flap up and you can get access to the bolts. Um, basically, we've just put those relays in there and then we have triggered the relay from the high beam circuit. All right, so um, with the normal headlights on low beam, uh, what we've done, we've still got those diode dynamics uh, headlights in there and we've added some arc LED 9005 bulbs to the high beam. So now when you trigger the high beam, our CG2 cannons are uh, triggered off of that. So uh, we'll go back and forth between high beam and low beam 
So low beam, high beam. So this should help out for those nighttime trips.